Good morning. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's Elaine with Elaine's Custom Cards. And this is the card we're making today. And it is made with the Wonderful World Designer Series Paper and Stamp Set. And it is a free item in celebration. If you look on page 14, there's a stamp set and the beautiful paper and we're using this paper right here okay all the sizes and dimensions are on my blog so if you miss something just go over to my blog you just click the little down arrow and that will take you to my blog with all the sizes the supplies everything so let's get started on this card I've got all the pieces cut out and ready to go. I've already stamped them. I stamped the envelope with the flower right here. This flower here. And then I used Inspired Thoughts for the um, sentiments on this card. So, I know I have everything here. I like to... If I'm going to be using a circle or a square, or whatever, and I have this and I'm going to cover this up, then I like to cut out of the center. So we're going to go ahead and glue this to the front of our card. And I always make a habit of stamping the inside first, so if I mess it up, I can go like that. And I've been known to stamp crooked, so let's go ahead and <coughs> put this card together. This is Melon Mambo. My card base is eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. This piece is five and three eighths by four and one eighth. I'm just going to center that right on the front. Like so this is the designer series paper and it is directional so you want to make sure you put it on there right side up this is four by five and one fourth and again i cut the center out for this circle here so i'm going to just lay that on there just like so We can set this aside for a minute. Let's put this together. This is from the Layering Circles dies. And it is <clears throat> the largest. This one is, I believe, second to the largest of the scallops. And then this one is second to the largest of the, the circles on this these stamp these dies okay so let's get this glued together I glued this piece to my melon mambo piece Just like so okay and then I glued this circle over the top of this hole that's here. Like I said, you aren't going to see this, this hole, because we're covering it up. So we'll just glue that down, centered over the hole. Now you can do this cutting anywhere on here. I just did it kind of closer to the bottom of the card. Now we're going to put dimensionals on the back of this. And I used five. Okay. I've got another card I'm going to show you that I made with this paper that's similar design, just a little bit different. And we're just going to try and get this to where these flowers match up to the edges. 
just so it's good and right side up like so okay and we'll take our sentiment and I use the get this out I use these dies they're the let's see what to say stylish shapes and I use this this one right here okay for this and we're going to put uh, I think I just put one dimensional on the back of that on the right hand side over here and then I put a little bit of glue right there because we're going to overlap that circle and you don't need any more glue than that okay so we'll just put this and right here make sure we're straight looks good okay and then I cut out a butterfly using the uh, brilliant wings dies and yes I cut my dies out cut them apart because was eat I found them more useful cut apart and I just put them in a bag so I wouldn't lose them and then I I die cut this with the um, this shimmer paper this is the in color and I took and cut from the the um, lighter portion of this this is the orchid oasis and I just cut a small piece off and this is about one and one fourth you, uh, you could get it by one and one fourth by two inch and get one and then I did the same thing with a piece of vellum and I used this one to cut the vellum out so I wanted that behind my butterfly so then I put glue dots on the back of my butterfly and these are the ones from come in paper pumpkin if I can get them off put those on there and then centered that on my vellum piece I think I did this also on my last why is it that fitting it's kind of hard to see not sure which direction this goes I think it goes like this really matter I guess so I get over the top of your vellum like so okay and then you're gonna need glue dots on the back of this these little glue dots from paper pumpkin work really great for things like this they're small because I don't know if I'm trying to use these up I have quite a few because I don't normally use them with my paper pumpkin kits I like them for small stuff like this okay take that off come on there and I'm going to bend the wings up just like so I'm going to put it right here kind of at the top of my circle and then I'm using up some old ribbon but I put in my blog that you could use this um, whisper white seam binding ribbon that will work I just had this I'm, I've got a lot of ribbon and it just sits there so I decided I'm going to use it up and then I just put this kind of right here in the corner kind of tried to center it as best I could here and then I took some of these rhinestones and the smaller ones and I put three on the butterfly right down the center of him So, and then I took some of the iridescent rhinestones 
You can use the same rhinestones. I just wanted some of these on there. And I used the small ones. And just kind of randomly put them around the card. And it's kind of around the circle. Like so. Put that one right there. Okay. And then I stamp the envelope with the flower. And the inside looks like this. And I'm going to show you how I did this. the um, flower. I experimented with it for a while. And finally, I'll show you what I came up with. So I'm going to take this circle because I made another card. Looks like this. So it's same paper, just different focal point on the front. And then I used uh, Flirty Flamingo for the cardstock on this one, and this one's Mellow Mambo. And I stamped this with Mossy Meadow. So let me show you how I stamped this. Let me get scratch paper. So I took my flower image my 30 flamingo like I said this this is in that stamp set right here and I very carefully just got the edge of it just like so to try and get the whole blossom okay I'm gonna close that so I don't get my fingers in it and I took my pear pizzazz and did the same thing to get the leaves. It's tricky. Kind of have to look at it sideways. Okay. And then, now, if you didn't get all the leaves inked up, take your Stampin' Write marker and the brush end, because he's kind of dark anyway. And I just kind of spread the green around, like so so that it wasn't so thick. For some reason my um, pear pizzazz ink is very thick. Juicy, maybe that's the word. So I just spread that around and then I'm going to just stamp it in the center there. And you get a perfect, as perfect as you can be stamping your rows. And then you can use this focal point on another card. So, I hope you like my card. This card here has the same, is all the same dimensions, other than I used a small white circle, but all the other dimensions are the same on this. Um, this is this is a smaller um, one of these also, the scalloped circles, and then this is smaller. But everything else is the same other than the colors. So anyway, um, celebration is started with a hundred dollar purchase. Um, in my online store, you can get um, this stamp set and this paper for free. It's gorgeous paper. Um, I like it. I like flowers. So anyway, I hope you have a blessed day. And remember to subscribe and like my video. Leave me comments. I respond to all of them so I'm getting closer and closer to a thousand subscribers so that I'll be able to do live videos as soon as I reach a thousand I can do live videos on YouTube and then interact with people who um, comment in the live so keep subscribing and liking my videos I do this 
I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, but, and it, this is my business, but I enjoy it. It's fun, and I enjoy sharing my ideas with you. So you have a blessed day, and remember to push the down arrow, and it'll take you to my blog, my online store, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.